everybody and welcome back to Play It Again. I'm Sue. Thank you so very much for joining me today. I really, really do appreciate it and I hope you're all having a fantastic day. Today we are getting back to the fantastic Morrissey and uh, a number of subscribers have asked for different songs by Morrissey when I had either played a Morrissey song or when I had done some Smith songs. But uh, Bradley had asked specifically for Every Day is Like Sunday and I thought, you know what, it's time to get to that one. So let's get right into it. Every Day is Like Sunday by Morrissey. And if you could all like this video and subscribe to the channel, and if you're really, really into it, you can always hit that super thanks button. That would be most appreciated. All right, here we go. Every Day is Like Sunday by Morrissey. And uh, I think it was this was probably around 87-ish. Maybe you guys can correct me with the, with the uh, time period on this one. Here we go. This is really great to see this video again. I actually haven't seen this in years, so it's very cool to revisit this and cool to revisit this song. I remember when this song came out and I absolutely loved it. Uh, I was quite sad about the Smiths breaking up, but you know, when I heard Morrissey sing this, I was like, oh good, we're still going to get some great stuff from Morrissey. And uh, I really, it's, it's kind of funny in a way that, you know, Sundays for most of us are kind of a relaxing kind of day, something that we enjoy. But it's funny how he's kind of comparing Sundays in like this seaside town where nothing much is happening when the tourists aren't here and nothing's going on uh, to an Armageddon. Uh, and it's kind of like it's, it just seems to be that boring and that empty and maybe void of of, of anything here but I, I just think it's it is kind of a, a funny sort of comparison because most of us enjoy our Sundays anyway this is fantastic I love Morrissey's voice in this song this is a great song and uh, I'm so glad that you uh, asked for this one Bradley because it really is one that I do do love okay so let's just gonna rewind this just a wee bit here and get right back into the vibe of this song
Oh, that was great to revisit that one. Oh, I love that. That was so much fun. I really enjoyed that. I, I always was a big fan of the Smiths and enjoyed some of Morrissey's stuff. I don't know Morrissey's stuff, to be honest, as well as I did know the Smith stuff, but I still do. I did know a number of his, his songs and I thought they were fantastic. Anyway, that was really great. Thank you so much for asking for that particular song. It's always fun to do songs that I really like when you guys request them. So I, it makes me even happier. Now, the woman with the older woman in the uh, video that was putting water in the kettle, she looked very familiar. And if anybody knows who she is, is she an actress or because she just seemed to look very, very familiar and I just don't know who she is. So if anybody could give me any information on her, I would be more than happy to know what it is. My fun fact for this song is that in 1957, there was a novel written by Neville Shute called On the Beach. And this uh, novel actually influenced Morrissey lyrically when it came to writing this particular song. And it was, the novel was basically about a, a group of people in Melbourne who were basically waiting for the nuclear fallout. And the line where it says, a strange dust lands on your hands, was influenced by this particular novel. So I thought that was kind of cool. I always love to hear the inspiration behind certain songs and, uh, and just things that people read or they see or they hear. And, uh, and in this case, it was this particular novel. Anyway, if you'd like me to do more Morrissey songs, put it down in the comments. Or maybe you have some Smith songs that you'd like me to do. Put those down in the comments as well. I'd be more than happy to do them. All right, everybody. Have a joyful day. And thank you so very much for watching.